Now, if you're a Swifty, you might want to listen up because we have a job opportunity for you. The Victoria and Albert Museum is looking for a Taylor Swift superfan to become its official advisor about the star. It's especially interested in the craftsmanship behind handmade signs and friendship bracelets central to her shows and fan base. The role will begin later this year. The role will begin later this year. Are you a Swifty, Darren? <laughs> I think or, I'll, or a weatherman? I think I'll be sticking in this job, Katya. <laughs> Just like you will be in yours. <laughs> uh, now, I'm going to take you back a year before we look forward to what's happening because things were very different in February 2023. The land was parched. It was the driest February for 30 years. Same place, Shropshire, very different, saturated ground. Some parts of the Midlands have had more than twice the February rainfall that you would expect. Now, we've had mixed weather today, to say the least. Yeah, there was hail after a morning of glorious sunshine. Bad news though, there is rain on the way. Here's Nick with the forecast. Hello, it may have been colder out there today, but what a difference to see some sunshine for change, especially early on. There have been one or two showers this afternoon, but very hit and miss. And the chance will continue into tomorrow, but overall, there'll be a lot of dry weather to start the weekend. Now on Sunday, it says possible rain. It's all down to the position of an area of low pressure and how much rain we're going to see and how quickly it may move in on Sunday. We'll look at that in just a moment. Some frosty nights to come before Sunday as well. Now, Hi Michelle, well, we've seen the cooler air working over the last 24 hours, a day of sunshine and showers. This weather watch picture from Cumbria shows a bit of snow on the tops of uh, the Cumbria mountains. This is Hell in there in Cumbria. Now, one thing that's caught my eye so far this February is just how wet it's been across a large part of England and Wales, with many areas seeing double or more the February average rainfall. Coventry, for example, we've had 110 millimetres of rain. The average is 47. Parts of East Anglia have had three times as much rain as a typical February. And there's more rain in the forecast as well. Oh, hi, Chris. Warm weather for bees. Yes. How about for humans? Well, you know, the weather's cooled down a little bit over recent days, hasn't it? We've had temperatures as high as 14, 15 degrees over recent days, but we've seen a drop in temperatures. Well, it came through the last 24 hours. It was 12 degrees yesterday morning, then colder through yesterday afternoon. Cold enough for some showers to work in today and some hail showers spotted by Flenhead. Now, if you see a decent hail storm like this, the one thing you should do is build a hail man and send it into us. This very creative one sent in by Flenhead earlier on today. Hello there. We saw lots of showers breaking out today and there's still quite a few around at the moment. You may have noticed also that it felt a little bit ch chillier out there today. We're in that uh, cooler air as we head into the uh, weekend. Hello there. Very good evening to you. It's finally Friday. You have made it almost to the weekend. And it's not looking too bad. We are going to be seeing some sunshine around, which is an excellent start. Some showers as well, but they're mostly across the southwest and through tomorrow morning. And then watch out for some heavy rain in the south on Sunday.